Okay, today we go to new chapter. It is supply of goods and services. First, we go to definition of supply. Supply is the ability and willingness to sell or produce a particular product or service in a given period of time at a particular price. Ceteris paribus. Okay, so if we look uh, from the definition, it's similar to uh, definition of demand. It's also uh, used the same statement, the ability and willingness of something. So right now we talk about supply. So uh, we look at the selling process. So the supply is the ability and willingness to sell or to produce a product. Okay. Next, we go to law of supply. Law of supply states the higher the price of a product, the higher is the quantity of a product supplied and vice versa. Vice versa means the opposite situation will be same. Okay. When uh, the price of a product falls, the quantity of a product supplied also will fall. Okay. So we go to table. We look at price 1, quantity supply is 2. When price increase to 2 ringgits, then quantity supplied also increase. Right now, increase to 4 units. When the price increase to 3 ringgits, then quantity supplied also increase to 6 units. That's happen until the price in, uh, increase to 5 ringgit then quantity supplied is 10 okay right now we talk about uh, producer or seller's uh, objective okay producer will produce to get profit their objective is to maximize profit and minimize cost so if price increase in order to get more revenue they will sell more they will supply the product more that's why law of supply shows the positive relationship between price and quantity supplied price increase quantity supply increase price falls quantity supply also falls so when we plot the data on the table into a graph paper we can create a supply curve show besides the table there okay supply increase quantity sorry price increase quantity supply also increase so we got our supply curve label s s next we differentiate individual supply and market supply individual supply shows the relationship between the quantity of a product supplied by a single seller and its price meaning individual supply it shows the quantity supply made by one seller okay so it's different from market supply market supply it shows relationship between the total quantity of a product supplied by adding all the quantity supplied by all sellers in the market and its price meaning for example in the market if we got a hundred sellers so how to get the quantity of market supply we need to add quantity supply made by all a hundred sellers okay so seller number one okay uh, supply how many units then seller number two will supply how many units we will add those two amount then we go to seller number three how many unit then we add all the three amounts so we will uh, plus all the a uh, hundred amount from a uh, all the sellers that exist in the market okay so that's the difference between individual and also market supply 
Okay, next we go to determinants of supply. When we talk about determinants of supply, we actually talk about the factors of supply. Okay, the first factor is price of related goods. We have substitute goods and also complementary goods. Substitute goods is a product that we substitute the function of another product. So we make uh, an example, Pepsi and Coke. Okay, then what happened when what happened to quantity supply of Coke when Price of Pepsi falls. Okay. So it said when price of Pepsi falls, supply of Coke will get increased. Why is that? Because in order to get more revenue, producer will produce more Pepsi. Okay. Once again, once again, okay, to make it uh, uh, not confusing, I make an example of Pepsi increase. Pepsi increase, so producer will supply more Pepsi. That's why supply of Coke will falls. Okay, all right. Next, we go to complementary goods. So, we choose ink and pen. Ink is a complement product for pen. So, when price of pen increase, the quantity, sorry, when price of pen increase, the quantity supply of pen will also increase. So, supply of ink that we use together with pen also will increase. Okay. The second factor is cost of production. Cost is production, meaning producer needs to pay their resources in order to produce more product. Meaning, if the cost high, the quantity product will fall. Okay. Next, expectation about future price. Okay. What happened to the uh, supply of a product when? Producer assuming the price of the product increase in the future. Not now, not in current time, but in the future. So it said, if producer expect the price of a product increase in the future, so the producer will sell more in the future in order to get more profit. So in the current time, the supply will fall. Okay, next, technological advancement. Now we talk about machinery used in production process. So if the technology advance in the market, so their ability to produce a product become increased. So technological advancement will increase supply. All right. Next, determinant number five. Factor number five is number of sellers. So, by logical thinking, we know when the quantity of sellers increase, if there is more seller in the market, so supply also will increase. Okay. Next, government policy. So, government will impose tax or will give subsidies to seller to producer so if government impose tax to producer meaning tax is some kind of burden producer need to pay to government so if that happen the ability to produce the product will fall that's why tax will make supply false okay when government gives subsidies to producers, so it's something helpful to producer. So their ability to produce a product become high, okay, higher than before. So subsidy will increase supply.
The last one is improvement in infra infrastructure. So we can make example like transportation and also communication. So all that we have a production process so if that happen if if there is improvement in infrastructure meaning the supply also increase all right the last topic we need to differentiate between changes in quantity supplied and also changes in supply first we go to this slide. Changes in quantity supply occurs when the price of a product changes and there is a movement along the supply curve satellite variables. Okay, you need to remember changes in quantity supply happen because the price of a product change. Okay, when we talk about quantity supply of pen change, so meaning is happened due to a change in price of pen okay the same product okay so um <coughs> it can move a point along the same supply curve so when we talk about changes in quantity supplied always remember there is only one supply curve that we are talking about only one supply curve okay the uh, different is point on that supply curve remember before this we try to uh, draw sorry try to plot the combination okay according to the data given by law of supply okay we have data then we try to plot all those combination between price and quantity uh, supply then what happened we actually plot a point okay so when we uh, join all those points we got supply curve okay so right now changes in quantity supply talk about all those points uh, on the supply curve shift okay it's move either upward or downward so upward movement happen when price of product rise so quantity supply increase okay we look at the uh, diagram besides okay let's say we uh, at point B it shows price 20 the quantity supply is 10 when price increase to 30 ringgit then what happened to quantity supply quantity supply increase from 10 to 15 units so it actually shows how point b moved to point a on supply curve okay next downward movement happen when price of a product falls so the quantity supply decrease so right now we talk how point b move to point c okay point b 20 ringgit so quantity supply is 10 what happened to quantity supply when price falls from 20 to 10 ringgit so it shows quantity supply also falls from 10 units to 5 units so it actually tells about how point b moved to point c we call it downward movement okay next the last subtopic is changes in supply it's a cure when other factors change but the price of a product remain constant okay it will shift the entire supply curve okay so before this we talk about determinants of supply we have price of related goods we have cost of production number of sellers we have expectation about future price we have uh, technological advancement and so on okay so all those determinants will shift supply curve okay so supply curve can shift to the right or can shift to the left 
Okay, so what factor will make supply curve shift to the right? Okay, so the factors is price of substitute goods decrease, price of complementary goods increase, price of input decreases, expectation future price decrease, increase in number of sellers and also government provide subsidy to sellers. So when we talk about supply curve shift to the right, that means that is the increase in supply so supply curve will uh, shift from s1 to s2 okay so you refer to a diagram beside the notes okay now supply curve can shift to the left from s1 to s0 if price of substitute goods increase price of complementary goods decrease price of input increase expectation about future price increases decrease in number of seller and also government impose tax on sellers so all those factors will make supply false so supply curve shift from s1 to s0 okay so that's all for our notes this time. Okay, see you next time. Bye.